Hello guys, welcome back to learnautomation.com. This is Mukesh Utwani. Today in this tutorial, we'll talk about headless browser testing using HTML unit driver. So I got a couple of inquiries and I thought I will cover this as a separate tutorial. So let's get started with high level agenda. So uh, let me uh, go back to the high level agenda. So we'll talk about what exactly this headless browser is. Then we'll talk about uh, what exactly this HTML unit driver that is the main topic today. Then we'll create one script using HTML unit driver and we'll try to add some assertion and finally we will verify the output. Okay, so uh, before moving to the uh, technical terms, just give me a minute I think there's some issue yeah so uh, as the name suggests uh, headless browser right it does not have any head it means you cannot see it but it runs internally so if you have worked uh, previously with selenium so you might have worked with firefox chrome and other browsers so when you run your script the browser comes up and it will show you how application is um, working like it will open a browser it will open a url and it will go through a couple of steps based on your script that you have written but in headless browser you will not see any ui okay so if you go to the second part in technical terms it's kind of a web browser like your general browser but without a gui so without any graphical user interface and uh, in other terms it's just a browser okay it's a piece of software that access your application but it will not show you anything to the human being Okay, so how it runs, it runs internally, okay, and uh, if you want to check how it works, so we'll write one uh, program and we'll see how it works. So the question comes, why we use this headless browser? So headless browser uh, does not support everything as a normal browser. So uh, it's a little bit faster because it doesn't have to wait for the UI to appear. So it is little bit faster as compared to other browsers. So you can use this type of uh, browser when you have to create some kind of test data or you have to just provide some content from one page to another program or a script. So you can quickly create one uh, script that will generate some test data and it will pass to your another test. So this is uh, one technical description about this headless browser. Okay, so the question comes that how we can implement this headless browser in our regular automation. And it is a very important uh, question in interviews as well. So be ready with this kind of question. Okay. Even if you have not used it in your um, in your test, but uh, I will suggest you just go with uh, normal script so that you will uh, be very familiar with this in case if interviewer is asking you in, uh, about this headless browser using HTML unit. Okay, so uh, this is HTML unit driver description. I have taken this uh, from their official website. So I will show you how you will uh, get the documentation for HTML unit driver. So if you talk about normal browsers, we having a separate class, right? Like for Firefox, we having Firefox driver. For Chrome, we having a Chrome driver. In the same way, they have uh, another implementation for HTML unit driver. So it is currently the fastest and most lightweighted implementation for a web driver and it is totally based on this HTML unit okay. and HTML unit is nothing just a test framework to access web application. It purely works on JavaScript. So you will find some pros and cons of this. So it is the uh, fast implementation. So we will see we'll run a script and it will give you the output in just seconds okay you don't have to wait for the browsers it will internally run it will produce the output and it's a pure java solution so it's a platform independent you can run on any platform and plus it's a javascript so in case if your application having some javascripting so this html unit driver will work okay and uh, the cons is uh, emulates other browsers js behaviors okay uh, you can uh, emulate the other browser behavior like if you want to run this HTML as a Chrome browser, yes, you can run. If you want to run as a Firefox or I, so it will emulate, okay? But it will not give the exact same behavior as the normal browser gives. So uh, based on your requirement, you can use this. So uh, let me show you directly how you can use it. For this, you don't have to install any additional uh, API. Okay, so once you install uh, 
selenium jar file that we have discussed in the previous videos so once you have the selenium server standalone jar file you can easily use this okay so what i will do i will create a separate package uh, let's say one package headless browser testing simply click on finish now let's create a new java class let's say verify title i will take uh, public static void main or let me take testng directly so if you have not gone through the uh, testng tutorial i will recommend go through the previous testng tutorials so what i will do i will create one method called uh, verify facebook title and i will simply write three lines of code let me annotate this with at the rate test and once you say at the rate test it will ask me to import test ng so i will simply import this test now i will start writing so i will say web driver driver equal to so this is the same as we do for the other browser so this time i will say html unit driver okay so now it will ask you to import some of the packages so put mouse over on the web driver so import web driver and in the same way it will ask you to import this html unit driver so you can see it is giving me some suggestions so it is asking me to please change it to html unit uh, driver and the reason is i created this html so tml is the capital letter but actually this is the exact one okay h is capital u is capital d is capital so once you have this browser up and running now you can start application so i will start facebook now you can take your application as well so just for this demo purpose i am taking facebook as an example so now if you open facebook as a normal browser let's see so you can see this title is coming welcome uh, facebook login or sign up right so before adding any assertion let me print the title here so for printing the title what i will do i will say get title so what it would do it will open uh, facebook and it will print the title and you will see it will not take much time it will directly give you in just some seconds so if you right click and run as as test ng test okay so just wait should not take much time so it should give in a second so you can see it has captured the title called facebook hyphen login or sign up okay now if you run the same program with other browsers it will take some time right because it will start the browser it will pass the url then it will print and you can see it has not opened any browser you will not see any ui it is running in the background so uh just uh, not only print let's verify this so what i will do i will try to add some assertion here and uh, let me store this in a variable so the whatever title will come i will store in a variable so let's say variable name i am giving facebook title so to add assertion i will use this assert okay assert is a feature of testng so if you have not uh, gone through the assert video then again i will recommend please check the assert video that how to verify the outcome so assert is a class available if i simply press control space it will give me suggestion so i will import this assert from the org.testng okay the same class is present inside junit and uh, yeah you will see two classes one is the deprecated one so don't take from junit since you're working with test ng i will take this assert then i will say assert uh, let's say assert true so it will ask me give me one condition okay so uh, i will use this facebook title that is string and i will check if this title contains okay so the title should be facebook right so if i say if title contains facebook it should pass my test or otherwise it should fail my test and uh, let's see how it works 
So you will see it will simply verify and it will give me the output pass or fail. So since we are validating with uh, uh, Facebook, so it should uh, run my test and it should give status as pass. You can see it has uh, uh, completed my test and the status is coming as pass because we are giving the exact uh, match here. So what we'll do, we'll try to add one more test so you don't have to worry about it. Simply copy paste and this time we'll say verify Facebook title new. So this time I will give some other keywords say selenium. So definitely this test will fail because assert true will only uh, give you true. Sorry, this assert true will only, uh, only will pass the test case if that title contains this keyword. Since title will not contain selenium definitely this uh, test will fail so let's see if you right click run as just ng test you'll see one test case will pass and one test case will fail so just wait here you will not see any browser started coming up. It will simply validate in the background and it will give you the output. And now you can see it has uh, completed your test. So as per the expectation, one test case has been passed because we are giving the exact one. And you can see one test case has been filled. The reason is it is was expecting true but found false and the reason we know because we were trying to find the selenium keyword in the title that's not uh, present so it is simply failing my test okay the main intention to cover this video is to show you how this headless browser works so i think you all are familiar now because you can see no other browser is coming up and it's nothing showing in the ui okay so this is another part how you can verify Okay, so I will not recommend this if you have any complex application which have so many jQuery, uh, jQuery and uh, JavaScripting involved. Okay, so uh, if you have so much like uh, HTML5 kind of application, just go with the regular browsers. But then in case in uh, you have a very lightweighted application and you want to create some tests that is generally creating test data, just go with this browser. You will get uh, very fast response. Okay. So. Uh, by default, uh, it will not support JavaScript, so you need to make it true. Okay. So it will start supporting JavaScript. So whenever you say true, it will start supporting JavaScript. Then you can work with the application which support JavaScript. Okay. So this is uh, what about uh, browser, sorry, headless browser. So hope this uh, concept is very clear for you. So in case if you have any doubt, just ping me. So now let's see. Yeah, we don't have much for this tutorial. We all almost cover agenda. So agenda was to uh, talk about headless browser that we already discussed. HTML unit driver, yes, we discussed and we have created a script and we have added assertion and we have verified the output as well. Okay, so just drop me an email in case you had a doubt. You can visit uh, to my blog learnautomation.com. I created the same post there and uh, you can connect with us on Facebook, Google and Twitter. Okay. And one important uh, thing actually, it does not support uh, screenshots. Okay, So if you want to capture the screenshots, it will not allow you to capture the screenshots. So we have one more tool called uh, Phantom. J okay. So using Phantom JS, you can uh, run the same test and it will give you this flexibility that you can capture screenshots as well. So nowadays Phantom JS is in uh, demand. So if you want to check Phantom JS, you can check the next tutorial. Same as script, I will try to execute in uh, Phantom JS and you will see it will capture the screenshot as well. Okay, uh, thanks everyone. Have a nice day. Bye bye.